Hey guys, and welcome back to another video by Beauty by Bridget. I'm Bridget and this is my channel. You can find me here on YouTube and also on Instagram at underscore beauty underscore by underscore Bridget underscore, on Twitter at Bridget B Beauty and on TikTok at beauty underscore by underscore Bridget. Welcome back to our third and final Christmas video where I am very excited to be transforming myself into the most glamorous of all the Who's, Martha May Huvier. I love The Grinch, especially the version that has Jim Carrey, and I had to do a look inspired by it in some way, but because I already did a full face paint for Heat and Cold Miser, I really didn't want to do another one, so I didn't want to do The Grinch, and then I thought, this is a glam channel. Who is the most glamorous in all of Whoville? Martha May Huvier. So that's what we'll be doing. Let's get started. So for this Martha May Huvier look, we're gonna start with probably the most complicated part, the eyes, because I'm gonna be using a lot of glitter and I wanna be able to brush the fallout off before I set everything else, if that makes sense. There'll be a little bit more detail when it comes to her nose because she's a who, she's got a different nose. But I wanted to save that until after I've been able to kind of dust off all the glitter. I didn't wanna dust it off and mess up the nose. So I'm gonna start by taking a light green shade and putting it all through my crease and outer V and we don't have to worry about it being super neat because we're gonna cut our crease later. I'm not a huge fan of green eyeshadow, but here we are. It's Christmas. It's Christmas. Do what you gotta do. And oddly enough, I don't know why this is oddly to me. I just didn't peg Martha May as the green eyeshadow type, but I mean, she is high key in love with the Grinch. So I mean, I guess maybe it was a signal that everyone missed. I think my dad's all time favorite Christmas movie for sure is the Grinch. And when I first got Frank, he immediately, like I got him in October. And so it wasn't too long until it was Christmas. And he like just started calling him Max and being like, yep, this is it. I'm the Grinch and uh, yeah, that Frank is my Max. He could easily play a Max in a production of the Grinch. He's just scruffy. Mm -hmm. um, for the most part, he follows rules. I think he could play Max. Now I'm gonna take a darker green shade and go just barely in my crease and not my outer V this time, that's important. We're gonna do a cool cut crease swoopy situation and so we don't need to put a color where we're gonna cover up because that would just muddy it up anyway. So we're just gonna make a little swoopy dark green line. So I'm now gonna take this green and instead of going in my outer corner, I'm gonna swoop it up and do like a little kind of wing, but higher and green. Just a little. I've gotta be careful because if I, I have really hooded eyes. So when I have my eyes like this, like eyebrows up and looking, it looks one way, but then when I like look natural, it's a totally different thing. So I have to be aware. How's it looking? It looks cool on camera, man. It's kind of like a hint of Grinchiness to it, which is like, feels right, you know? Okay, now we're gonna cut our crease. So I'm gonna take some concealer and a little flat rounded brush and I'm gonna do the same trick that I did the last time I cut my crease, which is get a little concealer and put it on your eyelid right there and then look up and wherever it hits is where your crease needs to be. And so I'm gonna cut it like I normally would, but I'm gonna come all the way out and do a swoopy curve, if that makes sense, to create like a second wing that will like line up with the eyeliner. Okay, so I have cut my creases and off camera I went in and I just very carefully, very detailed with an itty bitty brush, did a little bit of dark green right along the edge to like further emphasize that like, hey, this is a focal point, this is important, this is a crease. Next, I'm gonna take our light green shade and I'm gonna put it everywhere that we put concealer to set it and create a base for our glitter.
I'm gonna go back in with my dark green and re-intensify that, and then we will get into our glitter. Sorry I'm being so quiet. This no, is just a really painstaking, specific task, and I don't wanna mess it up. I'm blending a bit, bit, bit of light green over the top of it, just to re-intensify. Now, I am going to put a glitter primer all over where we have this light green on our lid. You can't see the primer, but it's what's going to hold all our glitter on, so it's important that it is as precise as possible. It's kind of lightening it up, which is fun. Very carefully, I'm going to take this extremely fine, very messy light green glitter, and I am going to put it everywhere we, we placed the glitter primer. The brand of the glitter is Trixie Cosmetics by my favorite drag queen, Trixie Mattel. And this glitter is in the shade Slime Time. Cut be very careful. Oh, yes! <laughs> in this house, we love glitter. We love glitter. A lot. I would put glitter on everything if I could. God, that's so fun. Wow. I've got glitter all over my face. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is why we're doing the eyes first. I gotta pour more glitter. Now I'm gonna brush some of this glitter off, not on my eyes, I'm leaving it on my eyes, but I'm gonna brush off as much of what's on my face as I can. Also, it's definitely in my eyelashes because I all I see is <laughs> like, they no y'all don't know what I'm doing, but I feel like I'm in like an inside of a disco ball. Okay. <laughs> Potentially on my contacts. Okay. And so I know, huh? That's the end of the eye look, right? No. So, no? No, we're not done. We're not done with the, all the glitter? No, there's more, more glitter. glitter. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> there was our light green glitter. And now where our dark green is, I'm gonna put dark green glitter. So this look, just glitter. I'm about it. All I'm seeing are small reflections. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, this is the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner. Um, she's expensive, but she's worth it because she is Christmas green, baby. Christmas green. I'm gonna try and do this on camera, but I'm nervous and I don't wanna mess it up. Just a song for you guys. Wow, that's cool. <sighs> <laughs> we are now going to do a lower lash line and I'm just gonna take that light green and then even closer that dark green and then I'm going to put the dark green glitter under it as well. And believe it or not, that's not the last step that will involve glitter. Oh, I'm making my lower lash line mascara face where I'm going. Mm -hmm. Love that we're on camera for that. And this is the eyeshadow, eye glitter part, all complete. So now that our eyes are completed, we are going to focus on our nose. Because Martha May Huvier is a who, she has a like upturned nose. And in the movie, I'm pretty sure for her nose and upper lip, they use a prosthetic, but we can fake it with contour. So that's what we're going to do. So I have my Benefit Hula Bronzer, and I have this brush that has a fluffy end and also this really pointy end, and I'm going to turn my nose into a button nose so that it looks a little more turned up and less like a human nose. In the movie, her prosthetic is much less dramatic than the rest of them, so her nose isn't as drastically different, so we can get away with not using a prosthetic because we can cheat it with makeup. So I'm gonna take my small end and I'm gonna first focus right here and draw a little line to help the like turned up effect. Now, if it gets too dark, we can blend it out. Everything's fine. I'm taking the big end and blending it out some. So now that we've got this line going across the top, we're gonna bring it around and round and like make a little button, a really rounded end of our nose. So like on the center of your nostril, you're gonna bring it around. I don't have a huge nose, but I've got a decent sized nose. 
And then she also has a pretty contoured nose, so I'm gonna take the fluffy end and do it, but I'm not, I'm gonna go kind of light-handed and go up from the in, inner part of my brow down to meet where we did that line. I'm always nervous when I do nose contour because I don't want it to be too stark and like painfully obvious, but then I always end up with it like not really showing up. So I need to be less afraid and just be confident in my abilities. And lastly, we're gonna take a little bit under our nose on the like in between your nostrils part. I don't know what this is called. And blend that up so it looks like there's a shadow there. So the focal point is the tip of your nose. Like I said, I get nervous because in person looks pretty wild, but on camera and in pictures, it has to be more contrasted. Also from a distance, it has to be more contrasted. Like up close, this probably looks crazy. And if I turn my head, you can definitely see that I don't have a button nose. But on camera, how's it look? Pretty good. That's what we're going for. Pretty good. <laughs> we have a who knows. It has arrived. We are in Whoville. Don't look at it too closely. <laughs> now, we are going to move on to lips. So, Martha May is a who. Most who's have really small lips because they kind of look like this. I'm trying to, I'm impression. trying to not flare my I'm nostrils. Dead. That is so funny, Bridget. <laughs> Stop. They kind of just have a bottom lip. Mm -hmm. Like if you look at the Grinch, he really only has a bottom lip. But Martha May, mm -hmm. let me tell you, voluptuous lips, glorious time. I figured, when would there ever be a better time to aggressively overline my lips with red lipstick? The answer is there will never be a better time, so we're gonna do it today. I'm a little bit nervous, so I'm gonna start with just my regular lips, and then we'll go from there. I have to have somewhere to start from, because it kind of has to stay within the confines of the edge of my mouth. Mm -hmm. So, believe it or not, I've never actually overlined my lips. Mm -hmm. I just kind of don't. I don't know why. <laughs> Reverse Grinch. <laughs> I just have a red mustache. Okay, so now I'm gonna leave my bottom lip basically the same. I might go a little bit bigger, but mainly it's gonna be our top lip. I already kind of overlined on one side a little bit, but I'm gonna go even more drastic, but I want it to be symmetrical. So if this is on camera, congrats. But if it's not, know that I am in major concentration mode, and the most important part of the lips will be on camera for you to see. It broke 160. Already? Mm -hmm. 220. I just refreshed it two seconds ago. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching live as we have posted a reel. <laughs> well, not live. You'll see it way later, but uh... You'll see this way later. I might be famous by the time this video no, comes out. No. I might be famous by the time this video comes out. I'm manifesting it. <laughs> <laughs> I look insane. <laughs> Bethany, look at me. Uh, no. Look at my lips. <laughs> I know. I've never had lips that go up this high. Yeah, you have. I've never had lips that go up this high. Now, I get to let this dry. But while we're letting it dry, to further emphasize my nose, I am going to put some highlighter on the tip of my nose. I forgot to do this when we were in the nose steps, so I will do it now. I'm using my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter. It is like a light pink color, and I think it will complement my skin tone as I am already wearing it. I look crazy, but I'm not mad about it. Okay, so now I'm going to put some glitter primer on my lips. Then we're just gonna go to town with red glitter. I'm very excited. I just tried to take the lid off of something that didn't have a lid on it. Go Bridget, you're doing great. Awesome job. Okay, now that we look odd, it's time for some glitter to pull it all together. Make, make everything all right. Where'd it go? Where's the red glitter? I found it. <laughs> <laughs> just, just panicked. I'm not gonna be able to rub my lips together, which is something that I do constantly. I've always wanted to do glitter lips, I have never had an excuse. This is it. 
Also, make sure you're using a cosmetic glitter if you do this. Literally on the package that this came in, it had a picture of glitter lips. So it is safe to do this, but please don't ingest glitter. I unintentionally did one year at prom, would not recommend. And there you have it, glitter lips. However, we are not done. We are very close to being done, but we are not done. So Martha May, as well as the other Who's, they are outside in the snow. They are cold, and so they are flushed. And so as the video has worn on, my blush has worn off. So I'm gonna put on a whole lot more. Get good and rosy. Now, since I have essentially covered up my highlighter with blush, I'm going to put on a little bit more highlighter and then another highlighter on top of that that's just gonna take us to the moon. So all we have left to do is liner and lashes, and just like usual, I'm gonna go and do those off camera. But I wanted to remind you guys that I will once again be using my Luho lashes. This is my third and final pair, and they are called Excuse Me Miss. They're really glamorous, they're really big and fluffy, and I'm super excited to see how they look on Miss Martha May. And as always, if you would like to purchase a pair of Luho lashes, you can use code BRIDGET20 at checkout to save 20%. And I will see you in the glamour shop. look. <laughs> Can't hold that character for the whole time. I had a fantastic time, but let me tell you, I was very nervous until the very end. I put my beauty mark on and I said, oh, Mr. Grinch. I, mm. Max, would you stop? I hope you enjoyed this and all of our other Christmas videos. And if you did, give this video a like. Also, if you would leave a comment down below, that would really help other people see this lovely look. Martha May would want the world to see this look. I mean, look, I don't know why I'm feeling myself so hard. Do what Martha May would do. Martha May would subscribe. So if you could do that as well, that would be lovely. <laughs> Thank you so much for all the love and support on these Christmas looks. And I hope that you and your family all have a very Merry Christmas and a safe Christmas as well. I'll see all of you beautiful people in the next one. People in the next one. <laughs> Why? You look super dramatic. I can see myself too. in this mirror and yeah. I'm like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. okay.